What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to our Carolina Panthers franchise mode. We are here in week number four, about to take on the Cincinnati Bengals back at home. So far, the season's been back and forth. Week one on the road, week two at home, week three on the road, week four, we're back at home. This is not a good kind of schedule to have if you want your guys to feel rested and comfortable. It's a lot of travel over the first four weeks of the season, but they got to sleep in their beds, got to be with their families this week, so I'm hoping that they are rejuvenated. Now, the Cincinnati Bengals aren't the Cincinnati Bengals of old. They do still have Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, but Joe Mixon no longer there. Tyler Boyd also gone. Defensively, they're they're kind of all right. We're actually considered to have a better defense than them at 81 overall compared to their 80, but their offense is going to be their strong uh, a strong sh suit, and they aren't going to have to deal with Joe Burrow having a hurt wrist uh, heading into this one. So let's look at what our coaches have want us to strategize. They want us to focus on the short passing for Joe Burrow, okay? Short passing on defense, and they want us to run it inside against this uh, Cincinnati defense, okay? We'll listen to them. We're listening to our coaches. We're going to listen to our coaches and see what happens. They want us to get at least five sacks this game. I'd like to get that. I'd like to, but that's going to mean that their def offensive line is going to be complete poop. So let's start the training. That's going to be our goals and game plan heading on into this one. Nothing really has happened as, well, as far as roster-wise. Uh-oh. All right, so our six-string wide receiver has a high ankle sprain. That's fine. He wasn't going to touch the field anyways. So we got one offensive injury defensively. Everyone's in. Nope. Shaq Thompson, the man who had an interception last game, dislocates his wrist. Oh, no. We got a bunch of injuries. J.C. Uh, Horn, our top cornerback, has turf toe. He's going to miss this week. Another cornerback quarterback in Bartholomew. He has a high ankle sprain. Oh, our defense is getting hit heading into this game. Oh, that, that really does suck, though. We're going to have a bunch of defensive injuries. That's going to hurt our one strong suit of the past couple weeks. As uh, as we've talked about, they've only allowed, or our team's only allowed 17 points against through two weeks. Um, so dislocated wrist, it says that he'll be 100% next week. Yeah, right. I don't think someone could come back from a dislocated wrist in one week. David Moore is out this week. All right, yep, uh, J.C. Horn got hurt and won't be available this week. It's awful, fucking awful. Two of our cornerbacks are hurt, so we're only going to have, what, two guys, three guys left in the cornerback lineup, and we're going to have to rely on probably our backup safeties to try to play some corner this week. Yeah, this is, this is rough. So we got Hill as the starting cornerback, Johnson as the second, and Jackson as the third. Smith Wade, number four. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be very, very interesting to see how we can, uh, if we can pull off a victory this week. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump on into this game against the Cincinnati Bengals, where hopefully we will become three and one. All righty, here we go. Week number four, Panthers, Bengals at Carolina. Right now, we do have the best quarterback, at least for passing yards, in Bryce Young. He's leading the entire NFL in passing yards. You heard that right with six, like 638. The next closest player is at right around 560, 580 in that range. So it's not the biggest gap. But Bryce Young really breaking out here in his sophomore season. I'm really hoping that he's going to get a dev trait uh, or an opportunity to increase from nor normal to star potential once again. He's super young, former number one overall pick. I can't believe that EA moved him down from the number one uh, from for a number one overall pick down to a normal dev trait after just one season on a pretty bad Carolina offense and defense. So it says we're going to be returning turning it up the middle and let our head coaches kind of take over for this quarter see what's going to happen so we're going to start with the ball 
Gonna return it from our seven. We got Leggett coming on in. Nice speed, able to get it up to the 34. That's what we're gonna rely on here. Now Cincinnati beat the Kansas City Chiefs last week in a shootout, or was it two weeks ago? They beat this, uh, I think it was two weeks ago. They beat the Kansas City Chiefs in an absolute shootout. So I think that's what's going to be happening here today. I expect a high-scoring game if Carolina is going to be winning today's game anyways. I'm not expecting a lot of Carolina's defense this week, but it'll be interesting to see how Cincinnati's defense holds up as well. Chuba Hubbard last week, 18 rushes for 69 yards. He has not really been the most efficient runner on the ground. We usually call his name in the fourth quarter as we're already up and we're just trying to kill clock. I'm considering, honestly, moving Miles Sanders to the number one running back position or number one on our depth chart and letting Chuba sit in the back uh, and be number two, just come in from time to time because he's just not getting it done. Cincinnati Bengals are missing Cam Saples, a sample for the remainder of this season. But back into the play, third and eight on their 37, looking for their first down, first first down, throwing it underneath, little check down, and it's going to be inches short. Chuba Hubbard couldn't pick up the first down, inches short. I say we go for it. We're not going to, though. We're going to elect to punt the ball away to Cincinnati. Boom, big old kick going way back to the 14-yard line where they will wave for a fair catch. And out comes the man, Joey Ice, M&M, Joe Burrow. 763 passing yards, seven touchdowns to one interception this week. Now, one of our goals on defense was to get five sacks, so we're going to need our D-line to really pressure this stud, wide, uh, stud quarterback. He is going to have Jamar Chase out wide. I'm going to anticipate that he is going to look to go deep to Jamar Chase a couple times here today as he finds T. Higgins for the first completion for, uh, for the Bengals. That will go eight yards. So second and two on the 22. Joe Burrow. Looking to get set, get some momentum here. He drops back, throwing out on the out route to his tight end. And he's going to get him first down up to the 30. Oh, man, here we go. Here we go. The cornerbacks are starting to be exposed already. Joe Burrow knows that the cornerbacks are, cornerbacks are hurt, and he's going to have to step up big. Just throw, throw, throw. We're going to be able to stop the defense. I mean, the run game. We're not going to be able to stop the pass game. And Joe Burrow having his X factor now. RPO. And it's in and out of the hands of Jamar Chase. That was all Jamar Chase on that drop. Third and two. He dropped it before he even got hit by the coverage. So third and two. Carolina looking to get a stop here. Quick pass. Trying to hit Jamar Chase. Almost intercepted by a diving Johnson Jr. Oh, what an interception that would have been. That would have been Joe Burrow's second interception of the year. I told you he's gonna start forcing a lot of balls to Jamar Chase. Punt is away. Gonna be returning it from our 15. And marked down at the 22. So just under four minutes have passed here in the first quarter. Both teams having to punt the ball away on their first drives. See how Bryce Young is going to react or adapt to this uh, Cincinnati defense. Starting off a run with Chuba Hubbard, trying to move it up the middle, only going three yards. I'm putting Miles Sanders in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm putting Miles Sanders in as the number one back. All right. So Miles Sanders, you're going to be the number one back for us. Um, third down back and power back. Uh, Miles Sanders still power back. We'll let Chuba get it done. Uh, nah, no, 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 no. Put Miles Sanders there, then third down back. We'll let Chuba be the three down back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how we'll do. We'll let Miles Sanders get some touches. Let Miles Sanders get some touches. See how he can, uh, if he can get this run game going against the Cincinnati Bengals early on, Chuba hasn't been able to get it done. 
So second and seven. Dropping back, Sanders, uh, not Sanders, Bryce Young gonna find Deontay Johnson. First, first down for the Carolina Panthers following that reception. Nice job reading the coverage, sees the zone, finds his man in between two zones. Hand off to Miles Sanders, but he didn't have any blockage, but he's still gonna keep his feet moving and go a yard. Battle coming untouched off the left side. Miles Sanders keeps his feet moving, at least able to get a yard. Could have been ugly, curl route, intercepted! Intercepted by number 29 of the Cincinnati Bengals, Cam Taylor Britt. Bryce Young trying to hit that quick curl. But Cam, man, tight coverage on him, reads it, and just barely able to get a hold of it. Deontay Johnson not able to get enough of that ball to make him drop it. So Cincinnati on the Carolina side of the field for the first time today. Oh, and it's because of a Carolina mistake. We're going to need a turnover by our Carolina defense. A lot of backup cornerbacks are starting today. Play action pass, Joe Burrow check down to his running back, number 83. All Junior, <laughs> All Junior is his last name, what the fuck? That's, that's interesting, second and four. Now on Carolina's 35, play action again. He's going deep, and he tries to hit T. Higgins, but he can't hold on through the contact, incomplete. Third and four. Our D-line has gotten zero pressure on Joe Burrow so far this game. He's been able to sit comfortably, but we blend in the blitz and we sack him. There it is, seven yard sack for Ningaku. That's what I'm talking about. We signed him week number two to help out that D-line. In his first game, he got a sack, and today he got a sack. Punt by the Cincinnati Bengals. Gonna go out of bounds, but that sack by Ningaku was huge. Cincinnati was in field goal range, and if he didn't get that sack for a seven-yard loss, Cincinnati probably would have kicked a field goal there. So now third drive, still scoreless in this one. Bryce Young drops back, rolling out to his left, throwing across his body out of bounds. All right, good way not to take a hit. The undersized quarterback knows that those hits can hurt. Second and 10 on our 16. Motioning Sanders out to his right. Quick little pass over to Adam Thielen. That'll be caught for an eight yard reception, third and two. I think we're gonna hand it off to Miles Sanders here, at least in this formation, that's what it's looking like. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Miles Sanders still pushing his way up and he gets it to the 32 yard line. First down. You know who wouldn't have gotten to the 32 yard line? Chuba Hubbard. So 30 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Seeing a lot of motion coming from the Panthers offense. RPO, quick throw out. He's gonna find his big man number 82. I believe that's Tommy Tremble. For a first down, it is Tommy. First down, Tommy. You don't get to see his name called very often. But he comes in clutch. So the end of the first quarter, Carolina starting to get so momentum on the ground and in the air. Still 0-0 though. Cincinnati's been looking good. Their offense has been heavily relying on the pass game. But for good reason. For a good fucking reason. I mean, when your your opponents doesn't have any cornerbacks, like are missing their top cornerback and one of their depth cornerbacks, yeah, you, you fucking pass the ball. So first and 10. First play of the second quarter. Bryce Young got a blitz happening. He checks it down for a one yard reception. He tries to, he kind of bobbled it on the reception and falls down. Understand it, Cincinnati did send some heat there. Expecting some heat here as well. Second and nine, Sanders. See what we can get done here. Trying to find a little bit of a crack. Picks up three, we'll make it work. 
We'll make it work. Swirl, hook, and go. So we got Leggett trying to go up the middle. But we got Johnson and Thielen over there. Hit Thielen. Get the first down, Thielen. Fourth and in inches. Go for it. Yep. That's what happens when you allow the head coach to make calls. Fourth and in inches. We go for it. Hand it to the big man, Miles Sanders. First down. Doesn't get a lot of yardage, but enough. So there we go. First and ten. I want Leggett to be the primary receiver. But we're going to hit Deontay Johnson. And he's trying to make a move. Brought down at the three-yard line. Oh, my God. Deontay almost bringing it to the house and opening the scoring for these Carolina Panthers. Deontay was my first read. I didn't really like Leggetti or Leggett. Man, I'm not sure if it's Leggetti or Leggett. I, I'll figure it out, though. I'll figure it out. So we're just going to try to hand it off this time. Chuba Hubbard, see if he can rush into the end zone. And he won't. Oh, my God. A yard short. Just extend your hand. Just extend your fucking hand. Instead, we're going to give it to Miles Sanders. We're just going to go an inside run with him. And Miles Sanders also going to be a yard short. All right. All right. Let's go with slants. And there it is. Donovan Peoples-Jones finds the end zone. Hit him in the flat. Didn't have tight coverage on him. Throw it his way. He's these. He is a possession and offensive weapon from the tight end position. Not the greatest blocker, but he's good enough in the pass game to where it just doesn't matter. It gives Bryce Young a weapon, and it forces other teams' defenses uh, defenses to consider him when planning against this Carolina defense. I mean, offense. 12 plays, 81 yards, took over five minutes, but who cares how long it takes? So 4-11 remaining here in the second quarter. Carolina now going to be looking to get another defensive stop against this tough Cincinnati Bengals de uh, offense. Big hit stick. Fuck you. Brought him down at the 24. Joe Burrow, third drive of this game. Or is it this fourth drive? It might be. No, nah, it's just, I think it's his third drive. We're going to be controlling Nangaku. So we see some motion out to the right for these Bengals. And they're going with a wide receiver screen. No, they're not. They're trying to get a little tricky. Almost worked. But instead, it's going to be a loss of three. Injury timeout. Kappa, an offensive lineman for the Cincinnati Bengals, going heading into the locker room, holding his wrist. At least he was able to get out. Uh, off the field under his own power. So second and 13. And Gaku getting some pressure. But Joe Burrow still going to find T. Higgins before anything happens. Nine-yard reception, third and five, moving it on up to their 29-yard line. We're going to go cover three sky. They're going to allow the middle of the field to be open. We know a pass is coming. That's all they've been doing is passing. Brian getting some pressure, and it's intercepted. It's a pick six. Thank you, Joe Burrow. Scott, that's what I'm talking about. The strong safety, Nick Scott. First interception, and I believe that is the first pick six for the Carolina Panthers this season. He threw it into double coverage. He was trying to find Jamar Chase, force the ball to him. And Scott, waiting there, lurking, just sitting there. It almost looked like he was playing catch with Scott on that pick six. And the extra point is up and good. And just like that, less than a minute has gone by, and Carolina has scored two touchdowns. And it's not over. Cincinnati will get the ball back. But 
Joe Burrow, man, I don't know what's going on with you. But you are having an awful game. We know that they're trying to pass it on every down. We haven't seen any rushing attempts from the Cincinnati Bengals here today. It's been pure passing. And I wonder if they've just been underestimating the Carolina Panthers because they had a bad season last, season last year. And they're missing a lot of their key pieces for uh, the defense. Clowney. Oh, no, we're missing Shaq Thompson, J.C. Horn. They might be taking us for granted here, trying to hit his man Jamar Chase deep, and he does! We flip, oh no, that was T. Higgins, not Jamar Chase. Throws it up to T. Higgins, we flip his ass, and he still comes down with it. Look at that. His ankles are as Hill's head. What a jump by T. Higgins. Oh, Tampa two, Tampa two. Controlling the flat for Johnson. Quick pass across the middle. Finds T. Higgins for a six-yard reception. Joe Burrow, he knows that Jamar Chase is there, but he's getting tight coverage, man. He's being fucking blanketed. So he's going to have to rely on his second string wide receiver in T. Higgins. And what a fucking grab again. Mike Jacecki. The tight end, great grab, hangs on through the contact, one-handed holding on to it through the contact. So I get to the two-minute warning. Bengals marching up this field. They're on the Panthers' 34-yard line. New set of downs. Come on, boys. Just a short pass. Can't hold on through the contact. There it is. It's not T. Higgins, Jamar Chase. Or Mike Jacecki, it doesn't matter. We're going to stop him. We're going to drop the ball. So trying to control Oshawn Robinson here. Quick underneath pass and Mike Jacecki picks up four. They'll be up third and six. Going to go overload three press. They have been throwing the ball rather quickly. But we're going to try to blitz him. And instead, he's going to read the blitz wide open. Is Mike Jacecki moving down the field? And he's now in the red zone. First and goal on the Panthers' seven. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Carolina might be running out of time. Back of the end zone. Intercepted by Hill. The second interception today by the Carolina defense. And the third interception that Joe Burrow has thrown all season. Let's fucking go. Tries to hit Jamar Chase in the back of the end zone. It doesn't happen though. Oh shit. Yep, taking that sack. Loss of seven on that sack. Second and 13. I'm not gonna waste a timeout. We might just let time tick on down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to waste some time here. So second and 17. I don't know why clock uh, it's almost like they thought we were in the no huddle. But I'm going to wait for that clock to get down to the 30 second mark. And then we're going to call hike. There you go. A little run with Miles Sanders still on his feet. Woo! Good rush. First time out called by the Cincinnati Bengals to the, or well yeah, in this game. So third and nine. Oh, we got the speedster Leggetti on that play that I love in college football. 25 seconds. Oh no, it didn't lead him. I told him to throw it to the left near the sideline. Instead, he throws it on the inside. Thankfully, it wasn't intercepted, but god damn. John, Johnny Hecker going to have to punt it away, calling for a fair catch. And the Bengals going to be starting on their 40. They are still being shut out. They might be looking just for a, a field goal in this game. Quick pass to Mike Jacecki. Picks up six. Second timeout. Called by the Bengals.
And he's gonna hit his man, Mike Jasicki. And they're in field goal range. Jasicki, six targets and six, six receptions for 70 yards. Holy shit. Smith Wade, gonna try to block this shit. And we're not gonna get a good jump. And it's good. Five seconds remaining here in the second quarter in the first half. And the Bengals have finally gotten some points, showing, showing some life. But it's all right. We're going to return this to the house, the he's house. Black share returning from the back of our end zone. Here we go. Here we go. And what did I say? What did I say? Oh, he doesn't have the breakaway speed, though. Oh, what a return. We get it up to our 45, or onto the Bengals' 45. He just didn't have the breakaway speed. So going into the half, 14-3 Carolina. It is looking like I should turn the difficulty up to all Madden. But taking a look around the league, let's see what is happening here in week number four. We have the New Orleans Saints taking on the Falcons in Atlanta. Saints up 21-17 over the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons have yet to win a game this season with their new quarterback, Kirk Cousins, under center. Two touchdowns, two interceptions in today's game. Derek Carr only has thrown an interception. Uh, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers in Indianapolis taking on the Colts. Steelers shutting out the Colts with 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Russell Wilson under Stenner, while Jalen Warren, the running back that's on the trading block, scores a touchdown. Eagles in Tampa taking on the Buccaneers. Score is 7-7 with a minute left in the second quarter. Jalen Hurts has a touchdown to A.J. Brown in that one. Tampa Bay looking to get their second win of the season. It's, uh, it's interesting how things are shaping up. The Atlanta Falcons 0-3. Carolina, though, today's game, we've been extremely lucky that Joe Burrow has been throwing as many interceptions as he, he has. I did click on to intercept the ball thrown to Jamar Chase, but bro, it, besides that, besides that one play, we've been good. We've been killing it. Oh, my, my bad. That wasn't even what I was talking about. Besides that one play where I jumped in to get the interception, the other interception was thrown right to our guy. And besides, I mean, I'm mainly on the D line. I'm just letting the computers guard all of his, uh, his wide receivers and tight ends. It does seem that Joe Bur like Joe Burrow is trying to hit Mike Jacecki a lot more. We have been not, we haven't even been close to trying to uh, sack him today. Oh, that was as close as we got. Big boom, big hit stick, but Jamar Chase getting his first reception of the game and it's a big one, moving it up 25 yards up to the 50. Cover six. And Joe Burrow is on fire right now. He's got his X Factor for the second time today. Come on. Oh, that was a nice little play. Puts him in between two other guys and he just pretends like he's gonna move. That was a nice play. Hunter Renfro, the free agent signing here by the Cincinnati Bengals, picks up five. Cover three, Tampa. Nearly, nearly able to stop Jamar Chase from getting the first down on that play. Third and one. We're going man to man. This might not be a good idea, but we're going to try it. A little motion. Oh, and he's going to find Hunter Renfro for the first down up to Carolina's 32. Here is vintage Joe Burrow. He's on fire. He's got his X Factor, he's feeling it. He's pissed off that he threw two interceptions in today's game against a Carolina team. He was expecting this to be a cakewalk. Carolina, lowest on the power rankings to start this season. They were ranked 32 of 32 NFL teams. And they're showing everybody that anybody can win any kind of day. Last year might have been a fluke. We're under a new head coach. We had to get used to the plays. Bryce Young is still developing. Things are looking up. So now third and eight, we're gonna be blitzing with the rookie Wallace. 
Oh, we got some pressure. And the Wallace gets the Joe Burrow. That's what I'm talking about. 10 yard sack for the rookie Wallace off the left edge. And Cincinnati once again goes from in field goal range, gets sacked, and they lose the field, uh, they lose even a field goal attempt. Instead of having to punt the ball away to Carolina, that won't go into the back of the end zone. So Carolina will start on their 24 minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Mountain counter Y. All right, Donovan Peoples-Jones, you're not the greatest blocker, but you should be able to get it done. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Miles Sanders still on his feet. This is what I'm talking about. That's something you don't get from Chuba Hubbard. Miles Sanders keeps his feet moving, and he can take a hit. I'm fucking loving putting Miles Sanders at a starting running back, and I think he's going to be the new starting running back here for the Panthers for weeks to come. Oh, he got snagged. He had a massive hole. And the fucking D lineman just able to get a hand and grabs his shoulder, yanks him on in. So new set of downs though, first and 10 on the Panthers, 35. We're gonna just continue to run this ball. Ah, no good blocking. At least he got to the line of scrimmage. That's all you can ask for. No loss of yardage. We'll try to pass it. No, we're going to run it. Oh, we got him to jump. We got him to jump. Offsides, Bengals. Let's go. BJ Hill jumps. Second and five. Thank you. Thank you. Play action fork. Got Leggetti going deep. Johnson heading towards the sideline. Johnson, nice sideline catch, wide open, tiptoeing, and gets hit out of bounds at the Cincinnati 45. Go halfback stretch. Wants us to run wide around. Donovan Peoples-Jones there. We're going to need that dude to get blocked if we're going to have any chance of getting there. Miles Sanders showing that speed. Breaking up for a 10-yard rush. 10 rushes, 47 yards for Miles Sanders here today. Taking over the primary back from Chuba Hubbard and it's working, it's working. Here's a run, there's another run, Miles Sanders, seven yard rush there. I'm loving it. This is just something that we don't get or we couldn't get when we had Chuba Hubbard under center. Oh yeah, audible, block that guy, first down run. Oh, oh, okay. Well, our dude did not block for us, so uh, that's what happened there. So third and one, 30 seconds left. Go play action. I think we're going to see a blitz here. And we are. Oh, intercepted. Just left it hanging. Just left it hanging for Johnson. So it's six seconds left in the third. Cincinnati takes over. Down, it's a two possession game with a whole quarter of football remaining. Check down pass to their big man, number 83. Tackle down for a two yard gain. <sighs> Fourth quarter, close one, 14-3. Panthers up by two possessions thanks to a pick six. But I mean, just as many Interceptions that the Bengals have thrown. The Panthers have thrown just as many. Bryce Young thrown two interceptions. Last one was my fault. Shouldn't have been an interception. Felt the pressure and got a little scared. Got a little scared. Well, that's all good. That's football, baby. That's football. So second and eight. On their 15. Bengals looking for their first touchdown. Quick pass to Jamar Chase. Breaks two tackles and it'll be inches short. Third and inches on their 23. Can we get a stop? I don't think Bengals have rushed this ball once today. And there's the first rush, and he's barely going to pick up the first down. Oh, man. Zach Moss, the former Indianapolis Colt. 
picking up the first down. Oh, we're strip ball aggressive right now, looking to try to strip a ball out of a receiver's hands. Motion, finding his man deep. That's Hunter Renfro, first down up to their 45. Burrow, two interceptions, 205 passing yards in today's game. He's looking to get correct those stats, get himself a touchdown, lead Cincinnati to their third win this season. He finds T. Higgins on a curl route, picks up eight. Quick passes, that's been Cincinnati's game. Quick, 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 short passes. Let's go, Carolina. We need to get a stop here, or at least kill as much clock as possible. Burrow dropping back deep in triple coverage. Oh, and he bobbles the interception. He tries to hit Hunter Renfro in triple coverage. Ball gets bobbled up and off of two Carolina defenders' hands and hits the ground. Damn. Third and two. Play action. They bit, and he's going to find Jamar Chase for the first down. Up to Carolina's 30. Oh, my God. God damn it. God damn it. We bit on the run instead of going after Burrow. They've been run. They've been passing every play. Got in the backfield cleanly too. First and ten. If the middle caught. God damn it! All junior eight yard reception. You got him in fantasy. He's a little busy. He's probably got like five points in this one. Second and two. Burrow dropping back again across the middle, swatted down, incomplete. Let's go, the diving stop by the free safety Fuller to force a third down. So third and two, two left, three right. Burrow, quick pass underneath the Mike Jacecki. That might be his 10th reception of this game. He is going to be tight end number one here for week number four fantasy purposes. Fourth quarter, four minutes remaining. Burrow scrambling out of the pocket. Back of end zone, swatted down, trying to find Jacecki Woods, though, able to get enough of that ball for an incomplete pass. Damn, that was a perfectly thrown ball to a little bit more air. Would have been a touchdown to Jacecki. So second and 10. Burrow in the red zone, looking for a touchdown. Hit as he throws, finds. Jamar Chase. Oh, that's what happens when you have a superstar wide receiver. He can come up big. Pressure to Joe Burrow again. Chuck down to Moss, and he's tackled. Barely in bounds. The clock will continue to tick. They go to the no huddle. Second and goal on the four. Trying to find somebody. Burrow scrambling. Swatted down again. Carolina diving left and right. Jackson with the swat. Third and goal on the four. 2.50 remaining. Can Carolina get a goal line stand? Scrambling again is Joe Burrow, and he's going to throw it out of bounds. Let's fucking go. Carolina, goal line stand. Cincinnati will elect to kick a field goal, making it a one possession game, though they will need a two point conversion. Actually, there it is 14 to 6 is the score, McPherson puts it through the uprights. And Cincinnati will just do a normal kickoff to the Carolina Panthers. We're gonna have Bear on the return and he gets smeared at the 21, at least he's able to hold on to it. And here comes Bryce Young and the Carolina Panthers. They're gonna to look to kill as much time as possible. One play should get us to the two minute warning. Hand off, Miles Sanders, big run, first down, he fumbles! Miles Sanders fumbles the ball. He had a big hole and fucking God damn it, the Cincinnati Bengals able to force a turnover. The third turnover by the Carolina Panthers today. Miles Sanders, ball security, man, ball security. So now Bengals with momentum, trying to march down, score a touchdown, and then convert a two-point conversion. Burrow's first pass incomplete to Mike Jacecki, not able to hold on to it.
So second and 10. Burrow, short pass down across the middle. I think that's Jaseki again, four yard reception. That will get us to the two minute warning. It is second, oh no, third and six on Carolina's 31 yard line. Burrow needs a touchdown and a two point conversion to tie this game and force overtime. Carolina looking to get a turnover of their own. Check down pass to Zach Moss and he's got the yardage, spins out of bounds, stopping the clock. They're now in the red zone up to the 16. Wide open with Zach Moss. Converting the third down. Burrow again across the middle to Hunter Renfro. First down, timeout number one called by the Bengals. A minute 50, five yards away from making this a pretty close fucking game. Play action rolling out to his right. Throwing back across his body, and he's tackled. Only able to get a yard. This is where Carolina made their stand last time, forcing the Cincinnati Bengals to kick a field goal. Back of the end zone, couldn't get two feet down. He hits Hunter Renfro wide open, but only got one foot in the end zone. College, that's a touchdown, not in the NFL. Third and goal. Burrow again, cross the middle, just Secchi. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Yeah, Mike Jacecki, definitely tight end number one in fantasy this week. He's got probably 10 receptions, maybe even more, for over 100 receiving yards and a touchdown. What a fucking week to be Mike Jacecki. And now down by two. They need a two-point conversion to take the lead or to tie this game. Looking like we're running man to man. Burrow converts it. Hits his big man all junior. And this game is tied all thanks to a Miles Sanders fumble. Score is 14-14. Carolina can come back. All they'll need is a field goal to win this game. They got a minute 15. All three timeouts. <sighs> this is, this, it's a turnover battle, man. It's a turnover. It is a turnover battle. Cincinnati kicking it back to us. We'll be returning it from our three yard line. We got Bear returning it and he's able to get it on up to the 26 yard line. I will take it. Miles Sanders getting a talk from his coach. 13 rushes, 71 yards, and a fumble that led to Cincinnati tying this game. Let's see what the young Bryce Young in his sophomore season can do here in crunch time. Cross the middle, caught. Inches short of a first down. Leggett not able to get there. First time out used by Carolina. They are now up to their 36. Young looking to pass it again, and it's intercepted! It's intercepted, and Cincinnati is in field goal range. Jordan Battle from the Cincinnati Bengals intercepts that ball. Three interceptions thrown today by Bryce Young. And the Bengals, even though they had an awful game, win the turnover battle. We need to get a turnover here. We need their running back to fumble. Timeout number one used by Carolina. Or number two used by Carolina. They got one remaining. 57 seconds still left here in the fourth quarter. Hand off again to their running back, Zach Moss. He's not fumbling that ball. Third and six, final timeout used by Carolina. We got to hope, got to hope that we either trip this ball and get a turnover or that Evan McPherson misses his kick hand off to Zach Moss and he gets the first down he gets the first down that will be it this game is over Cincinnati just going to continue to inch closer into field goal range and touchdown 
Nope, a yard short. We held him a yard short. Zach Moss is going to get into the end zone. Didn't rush all game. And now in crunch time, he's going to do it. I guess this gives Carolina an opportunity to score a touchdown here. Yep, quick pass caught by their tight end once again. Carolina struggling against the tight ends here. And the Bengals take a touchdown lead. 30 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Carolina's going to need a miracle to win this one. Momentum died with Carolina as soon as Miles Sanders fumbled that ball. This should have been over. It should have been a win. And we fumbled the fucking ball and started throwing interceptions. All right, 26 seconds, Bryce. 26 seconds. You've thrown three interceptions today, I'll admit. One of them is my fault. Really, two of them are my fault, but... Uh, oh, never mind. You threw four interceptions today, Bryce. You threw four interceptions. Uh, bad, bad game by Bryce Young. 25 seconds remaining. Young steps up in the pocket. He finds his man. Got to go to the no huddle. Leggett, come on, no huddle. Seven seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, out of bounds. Hail Mary time for Bryce Young. Can Carolina convert the Hail Mary? He releases, going way back. Over the heads of everybody, incomplete. And Cincinnati completes a comeback of a lifetime, down two scores with just over two minutes remaining in the first uh, in the fourth quarter, and they wind up winning by a whole touchdown. Turnovers, turnovers, fucking turnovers. Carolina, you were in it. You were in it. And you blew it. Well, that was a shit game. Bengals win week number four. Panthers fall to two and two. We got some messages. I mean, I can't completely blame us for losing that. We were without, you know, three of our top players. Well, two of our top defensive players this week. No one can really blame us for what happened. Let's advance it on up to next week where we are going to be taking on the Chicago Bears. We're still first place in our division, which is good. I appreciate that. Um, are we still first? We are now falling to second. The New Orleans Saints up to number four. Fourth best team in the NFC. We're ranked 10th in the NFC. We're tied for first for the NFC South. Looking at the messages, we need to have a plan for Keenan Allen and DJ Moore this week. That's for sure. Uh, rumor are swirling that Cameron Brin, Brin is done with the Vikings. Let's consider making uh, an offer this offseason. Cameron Bynum walked out. Okay. Defensive tackle improvements. Hey, coach. Uh, it looks like Travis Jones is on the trading block for Baltimore. Uh, looking at Shy Tuttle, we might want to consider it. Oh, that's a defensive improvement. What is, what is he? Defensive tackle, Baltimore. Um, I'm not seeing anyone from Baltimore. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone from Baltimore. I'm not even sure what you're talking about, buddy. But Cameron Bynum from, from the Minnesota Vikings, 26 years of age, free safety, 79 overall. They want to be a Super Bowl. He wants to be on a Super Bowl contender. He wants to have a franchise QB, and he wants to play in a big market. I mean, what would they want for him if he's on the outs? Like, we'll give you, we'll give you like a fifth for him. Give you a fifth and. Xavier Woods, uh, Nick Scott. Uh, nah, 
Nah. Nah, we'll look at Bynum in the off season. What's his contract look like, actually? What is his, like, is he under contract or is he a free agent after this season? Uh, contract. This is his last year in with the Vikings, so he's going to have to get a, uh, a contract with them in the offseason or he's going to be an available free agent, which would be a bidding war. I'm not sure if he was going to want to come up to our team as uh, we do have interest or motivational interest uh, at very high right now. But let's take a look. Who won the? Who were the award winners this week? Uh, last week, NFC Offensive Player of the Week went to Dak Prescott. NFC Defensive Player of the Week went to Sean Murphy Bunting of Arizona. AFC Offensive Player of the Week was Patrick Mahomes. And the AFC Defensive Player of the Week was Clark from the Jets. Two interceptions, eight tackles. Not too bad. Not too bad. Bryce Young no longer number one in the passing yards category following this week. That is uh, unfortunate for us. We don't have anybody in the top three, uh, but we're gonna have to keep on build. Gonna have to keep on working, keep on building this team. Uh, this week is crucial. Catch, intercept, cancer. All right. So our team will probably be donating again. We're on the road. B fucking road home. Road home. Road home. Uh, QB battle, all eyes are on Joe Burrow and Lamar Jackson this week. Uh, big end, uh, big day for tight end Col uh, Colston Loveland, who catches the uh, tying touchdown, then has a huge block to spring a game-winning touchdown. Um, Nick Chubbs returned to play for the Browns. Patrick Mahomes. Uh, passed for 323 passing yards and four touchdowns. James Conner, 115 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. Caleb Williams last week, 269 passing yards and a touchdown. Derek Stingley Jr. of Houston, two tackles, a pass deflecting, and two interceptions. Saquon Barkley gets hurt this week as well. So the Eagles are going to be without their top running back option. Tight end Colston Loveland. Is that a a college player? Tight end Colston Loveland. Um, it is the number one tight end on the board. Colston, uh, Colston Loveland. So he's a good blocker, and he was able to get a touchdown. Holy shit. Elite great, elite great, great good, elite great, elite great, elite great. Holy shit. This dude, put him on my board. Put him on my board. Uh, set his favorite. I like him. He's ranked sixth on this board. All right, so for everybody, from all positions, he is supposed to be just outside the top five. Holy shit. Just outside the top five is where he is ranked right now. He's killing it. Carrying is an A. Oh, god damn. I want him. I kind of want him. Colston Loveland. I kind of want him, dude. Kind of want him. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next week, see you all later. Bye-bye. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink because I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink. Who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars. Flip the handlebars. Crashing in my car. Wake up in a bar. I'll be a superstar. Just on my so bizarre, empty out the reservoir. Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way. So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay. I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'll get on safe. So I'm taking six shots, all straight to the face. I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face.